Yo guys, Monk here, and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys a, a it's kind of a different video to what I normally do. It's a tutorial video, and uh, it's like an audio spectrum thing. No, where you get them images like no copyright sounds, where the uh, logo bounces to the beat. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So if you have uh, After Effects, then obviously click stay watching this video because the program is going to be used in After Effects. I will also leave a template down in the uh, description as well for you guys to go ahead and use all you have to do is change the song over and change the logo but yeah guys uh, I'm gonna be showing you how you can go ahead and do this so first of all go and head over to After Effects and you want to go and create a new composition so just create a composition and name it Audio Spectrum and just put the duration to 3 minutes I'm kind of new to After Effects as well, so just bear with me guys. So in the project file, you want to go ahead and right click on that. Go on to uh, Import uh, and then Files. So it would be best to have a folder with uh, the background, uh, the audio track and the logo uh, in there. So I'm going to obviously go and get my files. Obviously I don't have a background, so I'm just going to use any random picture that I have on my computer from videos that I've done in the past. So I've got my music file, my logo, and I've obviously going to add my background in now. So I'm just going to use the faction background, what you use in my unlimited faction um, token video that I did on Destiny 2. If you want to go check that out, links in the, in the description. But once you've done that, guys, you want to go ahead and drag down your uh, background layer into the project uh, area at the bottom. I think that's what you call it, like what I'm doing now. And then you want to go ahead and get your audio file which mine is Electronomia Energy uh, from No Copyright Sounds. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. And you just want to drag that underneath the background layer. But once you've done that, guys, what you want to go ahead and do is right click on the uh, project file at the bottom uh, where you put your background and your audio. And you want to go ahead and you want to click on new and click solid. And then once you've done that, a pop-up window should come up like this. You want to name it to audio spectrum and then put the color to black. Once you do that, you should have a screen that is totally completely black like mine is here. And then what you want to do, you want to open up your effects tab. Obviously mine wasn't showing for some reason, so obviously I just clicked this drop down box and it was there. So click find your effects and presets and you want to go ahead and search for audio spectrum. And you want to drag the audio spectrum effect onto the audio and spectrum layer, like I'm doing now. And it should come up with something like this. The background layer should go, uh, be taken off and you will sh should be shown with a screen like this. So at the start point, you want to go ahead and change... Sorry, the audio layer, you want to go ahead and drop it down and change it to the song. So I'm changing it to my song. And as you can see, I previewed it, but the volume didn't come through because I had it muted. But these lines should move to the beat of this actual uh, music but that's not the video guys it doesn't stop there it carries on i'm going to show you how um, no copyright sounds does it as well so that's just a little preview to make sure it's working so imagine that guys you want to go ahead and change the start point to zero put the end point to 960 and then you want to go ahead and put the frequency to 130 Frequency band it to 2000, maximum height to 1000, audio duration to 180, but the audio offset to minus 20. I will just pause the screen now and just literally just put down everything that's on my screen now if you didn't really get what I was saying. And then you want to go ahead over into your effects and presets again. You want to search for polar coordinates and drag and drop that onto your audio spectrum as well. Then once you've done that, you want to change the type of conversion to React to Polar. And then your interpolation, you want to put that to 100%. And then you want to change your side options to side B. Once you've done that, you want to head over to your effects and presets again. And you want to search for Mirror. Now same thing as your other effects, drag it and drop it onto the audio spectrum layer. And you want to go ahead and change the reflection center to... 960 as that can makes a complete uh, circle all the way around which is where your logo is going to sit in the middle now you want to go and click on the audio spectrum layer go into effects go down to uh, generate 
I have trouble finding it. So you go over to generate and you want to click on four color gradient and this is where you can go ahead and change the colors to which ones you want. So go ahead and change the four colors to the colors that you want. Now once you've done that guys you'll see these four dots that are on your screen. Uh, you just What you want to do is move them closer uh, so that you can see the colors more bright. And uh, more better than what they look like on screen now. So I'm moving mine closer to the uh, audio spectrum And as you can see it brings out the colors more Once you've done that you want to go ahead and duplicate your audio spectrum layer So just click on it and click ctrl and D and it should duplicate that layer Then you want to click on the duplicated layer and put the um, frequency bands to 150 change the maximum height to 990 but the audio duration to 142 and change the thickness to 1.7 and then if you want to do, go ahead and change your colors again go ahead and change your colors now you want to go back into your effects and uh, presets and you want to go and search for CC light burst 2.5 and drag and drop that onto your audio spectrum the duplicated one and you want to change the intensity to 400 go on to the effects again and you want to go and find glow Drag and drop that onto the audio spectrum duplicated layer. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and duplicate the layer. So just go ahead and Control and D to duplicate that duplicated layer. And you want to go ahead and delete the mirror, delete the glow, and delete the uh, CC light burst. Once you've done that, guys, go all the way up to the top. Change your display options to analog dots, change your um, thickness to 6.5 and then go ahead and change the colours if you want to again. Now what you want to do is keep hold of control and select the two duplicated audio spectrum layers and just move it under the original one. Then you want to go to your project. For, uh, file where obviously your logo the song in the background is and you want to go ahead and drown and drag your logo into the project folder thing uh, above the audio spectrums and you just want to resize your logo so it fits in that circle and try and make it the same size just a little bit smaller than where that circle is like I'm trying to do now I'm sorry that I don't know the actual names for like the project bar thing and the stuff like that it's like my first time using this um, and I'm trying to learn new stuff on here so I'm just giving you guys uh, a tutorial on this uh, to better myself and also for people who do not know how to do this or don't have the software to have the template as well because I know that there's not many videos out there that give you a template which don't require any effects or presets that you have to download from third parties. These effects and presets are pre-installed when you download the After Effects. So once you've done that, you've realigned your logo to fit inside the circle, you want to go and click on Composition, click on New, and you want to name it Music. So now, once you've done that, go into your project folder where it's got everything and down and drag and drop the song into the project bar. Once you've dragged and dropped the song into the project bar, you want to go ahead and right click it. This drop down menu should show up and you should see something called Keyframe Assistance and you want to convert the audio and it will start converting the audio for you and you will get audio amplitude. So click the down arrow on audio amplitude, click down on the effects and you want to delete the left and the right channels. Now go to back to the audio spectrum uh, part. You want to go move the background layer below the song and you want to highlight the song, all three audio spectrums and the logo and you want to go ahead and right click it and pre-compose it. Make sure you got move all attributes into a new composition and you want to name it final and it will put all the files together down as final. Now go back into your FX and presets and go and search for magnify, drag and drop it onto the final and then you want to go ahead and change the magnification to 100 and change the size to 1100, change the blending mode to none. And now there will be a link down in the description guys which you will need to download. Um, this text file I will leave it in down in the description as well 
Uh, so you can just copy and paste it straight from the description if you don't want to download anything. Just copy it right in that you have in the description or download the file and copy it there. And you want to go ahead where it says magnification and you want to go and click onto alt. So as you can see it's this expression thing that you need. Uh, as you can see there where it says music in brackets it's down as a capital M. So that's why I'm saying you need to put your music file when you name it music as a capital M. So just copy all that, it will be in the description or you can go ahead and download it as the notepad and copy it from there in case you want to use it for future projects. And just copy the expression, now you want to go over to where it says magnification, where it's got the little stopwatch and you want to keep hold of alt, click on that and you should see this little box show up and you want to paste that expression in. Now you can see it says the project contains an expression error. Later on I don't find out until I start rendering and stuff that because the expression has got music with a capital M, my music is a lowercase m so once I change that expression to a lowercase m or I change my music file renamed it with a capital M that orange bar went away uh, and it all rendered out perfectly fine. So what I'm going to be doing guys now is just rendering it out and I will be showing you guys the final project at the very end so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new subscribe enable post notifications so you never miss a video i upload if you want more tutorials like this then let me know in the comment section below i will be ha happy to produce them and also don't forget to download a template if you don't want to learn how to do it yourself if you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to enter my playstation 4 pro giveaway and enjoy the rest of the video. Peace out. Don't swap it bottles